So the first thing I'm going to do is help you guys to identify the different bones of the upper limb. So I'm going to start with this one right here so everybody can see it in the center. Hopefully you guys see it gets green. Can you see that? Hopefully. And this is the sternum. So this is the sternum right in the middle of your body, like the midline between your breast. Yeah, that's the sternum right there. So this right here is the body of your sternum. And this, the top of it, is also part of your sternum. They call it the manubrium of your sternum. So that's M-A-N-U-B-R-I-U-M of sternum. So all of this is your sternum, but this is, I'm just telling you the different parts of your sternum. So this is a manubrium of your sternum. This is the body of your sternum. And this little thing at the bottom here is basically the xiphoid process of your sternum. So xiphoid process that X I P H O I D process of your sternum. So yeah, we got that. So remember, let's run over the sternum. All of this is your sternum. This is a manubrium of your sternum, the body of your sternum, and the xiphoid process of your sternum. Okay, good. So we're finished with the sternum. We know that this is the sternum. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to touch is this one. I pretty hope this one right here. Yeah, here we go. I hope, I really hope that you guys can see the change in color. But this is your clavicle. What people call your color bones. Some persons are more clavicle are more defined than others. Like mine, I have my, my clavicle or my color bones are always protruding. Yeah, so yeah, the clavicle is what we call the collarbone, and this is your right clavicle. Mm -hmm. So as we go along, you'll know different things about the clavicle. you learn about the attachment of muscles, the different ends of the clavicle, so on and so forth about the clavicle. But for this video, we're just naming them. So that's the clavicle or the collarbone. Yeah. Okay, so let's move on now to something else. So I'm going to touch the one at the back. So can you see this? Hopefully you guys can see this. I'm going to zoom out a bit and try to turn it around. Bam, bam, bam. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Oh, this is pretty cool. Yes, I got it straight. Yes. So this is your scapula. Your scapula. The bone at your back there is your scapula. So it's a flat bone. And you have an acromial end and so on and so forth. But you'll learn that further on. Just know that this is your scapula. Mm -hmm. And let me zoom out a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And move this over a bit. So we learned so far sternum, clavicle. And scapula okay good so the next thing I'm going to touch is this bone so this bone is your humerus and this is your right humerus because we're looking on the right side so in exams and practical exams and so on you you probably have to differentiate between a right humerus and a left humerus but you guys will get it as we go along as I said, this video is just to name them. So this is your humerus. The next one is this one. Down in your hand, this one is the radius. So the radius is the smaller of the two. From the end of the humerus, the end of the radius is small when compared to that of the ulna which is this one right here. So the ulna and radius sits beside each other, as I would put it. So these are long bones that sit beside each other. So we have radius, ulna. Mm -hmm. 
So how I would try to remember the radius from the owner, I say I use a circle because you know the circle is half, the radius, sorry, is half of the circumference or the diameter thingy that, you know, when you're doing calculating the circumference of a circle, the radius is half of it. So it's smaller than the actual diameter. So I just use that. It's pretty corny. But I use that to remember that the radius is smaller and at the top. So here, the radius is smaller than the ulna. And the ulna shapes like a U. So when it's attaching to the humerus, it shapes like a U. So that's that. So we labeled the major bones so far. Again, let's go over them. Say them with me. The sternum. This is the body of the sternum. The xiphoid process of the sternum. The manubrum of the sternum. Good. This is the clavicle or the collarbone. This is the scapula. This is the humerus. This is the, the small one is a radius, small one at the joint to the humerus is the, ra is the radius. And the one with the large head at the joint of the humerus is the ulna. So we have radius, ulna. Good, good. So we're good so far. So I'm going to probably try to zoom in some more to these bones. Hopefully you guys can see them. So let me try to move this a bit. So I put this right here and I'm going to try to zoom up on the palm. You call it the palm of your hand, yeah. So here we have these bones and they're super important. Yeah, so this is right here. So we're going to try to label them. So these are your carpal bones. So these are different ones. So we get to know each of them further on when we get closer down to the palm. But for now, we're just going to label them as the carpal bones. All these here are the carpal bones. C-A-R-P-A-L. So we have quite a few of them. Those are the carpals, and these bones right here are the metacarpals. Metacarpals. So these are all your metacarpals, and in front of that, we have our proximal phalanx. Our proximal phalanx, right? In front of that, we have our middle phalanx. So these are the middle phalanx. And the tip, we have the distal phalanx. So these are not very hard, guys. So let us run through this again. So you know the far away. Let's say the one that is far away, we call it the distal phalanx. So this is a distal phalanx. These at the tip, they're far away from everything. So we say they're distal. The one that is in the center we call it the middle phalanx. So these are all your middle phalanx. And the one below your middle phalanx coming from the distal are your proximal phalanx. And the one after that are your metacarpals. And these, all of these right here, are your carpals. So I hope you yeah, so I hope you guys got all of that. So let's do it again. Coming from here, we have our carpal bones. We have our metacarpal bones. We have our proximal phalanx. Say it with me. Then our middle phalanx. Then our distal phalanx. So I hope you guys got that. I really do hope you guys got all of that. Let me try. So now that we've labeled those, let me just jump here. Most persons would know what these are. So these are our ribs. So we have 12 pairs of ribs. So you know, you'd know what the ribs are. But I won't take it for granted. I'll still say that these are your ribs. Mm -hmm. 
So let's just run over everything again so that everybody can get a good understanding of the bones of the upper limb. And what I want you to do, guys, is to say them with me. I'm going to go slow so you can say them with me to know what we learn or to see how much we learned or remember. So number one, this one, the first one we did, this, all of this is your sternum. So it looks like a sword or a knife. You can stab somebody with it, you know? Yeah, but we won't stab anybody today. So this is your sternum. So this right here in green is the body of your sternum. Right here is the manubrum of your sternum. Here is a xiphoid process of your sternum. The next bone is your collarbone, which is our clavicle. So the clavicle is a collarbone right here. The next one is your scapula. And you can see it from the back and so on and so forth. Yeah, you can see your scapula from the back right here. Yeah, good, good, good. Uh-huh. So we did a sternum, the clavicle, and then we did the scapula. Now let's move on to this one. This one is your humerus. So that's the bone right from up here to your elbow right there. So that's your humerus. I'm trying to make it as simple as possible and use layman terms so everybody can have a good understanding. So this is your humerus. This one, small head, radius, larger head, ulna. Then here, I'm trying to zoom up on the, these, the finger bones the bones of the palm. So here we have our carpal bones, our metacarpal bones, our proximal phalanx, our middle phalanx, and our distal phalanx. Excellent, guys. Excellent. I know that you guys are learning. I can hear you guys through the screen saying them. So one last time, I'm just going to say them nonstop and try to say them with me, and I'll use a little bit more speed this time. So this is your sternum, the body of your sternum, the manubrum of your sternum, the xiphoid process of your sternum, your clavicle, scapula, humerus, oh, why is it? oh yeah, your radius, ulna, Ulna, select Ulna, right? Then to your palm, your carpal bones, your metacarpal bones, your proximal phalanx, your middle phalanx, and your distal phalanx. So that's it for the most important bones of the upper limb. So these bones have so many different attachments of muscles and origin of muscles and insertions of muscles that you guys will learn further on. So that's it. You now know all the major bones or most of the major bones of your upper limb. And I thank you guys so much for listening. If you have any more questions regarding this video, please drop it down in the comment section below and continue to like, comment, share, and subscribe. We thank you so much for your continued support and I hope this video gave you a little more light on the different bones or gave you a little more understanding of the different bones of the upper limb. Until next time, see you soon. Bye. If only I could get this thing to wave. Bye. That's the closest we'll get, guys. Bye.